MC Squared Coaching Center and another topic na naman tayo so ang topic po natin ngayon is Word Problems Part 1 actually maraming nagre-request ng worded problems and this is the part 1 of our lecture about word problems okay so part 1 pa lang po ito and marami pa po tayong susunod na mga uh, lecture regarding word problems sa mathematics okay so this is by most ano by request again kung may request kayo ng word problems na gusto niyo ipa-discuss just PM me sa Messenger or sa Facebook lang po para masali ko po sa discussion ko po I'm engineer Melvin Jan Habla Bansuelo and uh, let's enjoy studying Now uh, this is a problem number 1 of our word problems part 1 Melvin Chicks and Cloud each bought a medium-sized apple pie at a bake sale. Melvin ate three-fifths of his pie, Chicks ate four over nine of her pie, and Cloud ate five over ten of his pie. Who ate the most? Ang ibig sabihin ng tanong, sinong may pinakamalaking kinain sa tatlo? Is it letter A, Melvin? Letter B, Chicks? Letter C, Cloud? Letter D, none of them. So, Again, this is a word problems, pero yung attack natin sa pag-solve na sa problem na to is what? Is comparing fractions. Para bang hanapin lang natin sa tatlong fraction, sino yung mas malaki? Si 3 fifth, si 4 over 9, or si 5 over 10? Now, instead of sabayin, sab sabayin natin sila compare, uh, two at a time ang gawin natin. So, let's compare first yung kinain ni Melvin at saka yung kinain ni, si ni Chicks. So, let's compare 3 fifth and 4 over 9. Sinong mas malaki sa dalawa? So, sa 3 fifth and 4 over 9. Now, based sa lecture natin before sa fraction, the technique, the simplest way to compare the two fractions is to multiply the numerator and denominator of fraction. So, ibig sabihin, Itong 9, sa baba ng 4 over 9, i-multiply natin kay 3. And then itong 5, sa baba ng 3 fifth, i-multiply natin kay 4. Okay? So, therefore, therefore, 9 times 3, and then 5 times 4. I-compare natin. Okay? So, 9 times 3, that is 27. And then, 5 times 4, that is uh, 20. Okay, so 27 is greater than 20, so therefore, 3 fifth is greater than 4 over 9. So, ito yung basihan natin. So, therefore, sinong mas malaking may kinain, si Melvin or si Chicks? So, therefore, si Melvin yung may malaking kinain. So, eliminate na lang natin itong si Chicks. Ganon din sa choices. Eliminate muna to siya. Okay, eliminate muna na natin si Chicks. Kasi nga, between... Melvin and Chick, sinong may malaking kinain? Si Melvin. Okay, so base lang dito sa i-cross-multiply natin. Next, since si Melvin ang may malaking kinain, i-compare naman natin siya sa kinain naman ni Cloud. Okay, so para malaman natin who ate the most. So therefore, we will compare the fraction uh, 3 over 5 at saka 5 over 10. Same process ng ginawa natin kanina, Iko-cross natin, that is, yan, 10 times 3. So, usually 10 times 3, that is 30. Okay, next, sa baba din, 5 times 5, that is 20, 25. Okay, so between the two, 30 is greater than 25. So, therefore, 3 fifth is greater than 5 over 10. Mas malaki pa rin yung kinain ni Melvin. So, therefore, eliminate na rin natin si, si Cloud. So, sa tatlo, who ate the most, the correct answer is letter A, that is Melvin. Okay? So, I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-ano ko. Again, pagkaka-explain ko. Again, ang ginawa lang po natin is comparing fraction and using cross-multiplication. Okay? So, yun yung tinuro ko before sa topic ko na fractions sa video series ko po. Okay? So, pwede nyo hanapin sa channel ko po. I think that is uh, nasa fractions po. Okay? Na, na topic ko po siya. Okay? So, again, if may, hindi klaro po yung pagkakadiscuss ko, pwede nyo po akong i-message sa Messenger or sa Facebook para naman na uh, 
ma-explain ko pa po ng mabuti sa inyo. So, i-screenshot nyo lang po itong problem na to and then i-send nyo po sa akin and turo nyo po kung ano yung specific na tanong ninyo. And uh, I'll try or I'll do my best na ma-explain na mas mabuti po sa inyo. Okay? So, let's proceed to the next problem. So, this is problem number two. Okay, problem number two. One number is twice the other. Their sum is 96. What are the two numbers? So, again, class, reverse ang gawin natin. Let's try to check first. Yung sinabi niya, the sum is 96. Okay? Yung sinabi niya na the sum, ito, the sum is 96. So, the sum is 96. Let's try to add 28 plus 68. 30 plus 66, 44 and 52, and 32 and 64. So, therefore, pag may nahanap tayo na hindi 96 yung sum, eliminate na kaagad natin sa apat na choices. So, let's try letter A. Letter A, that is 28 plus 68, that is 96. Check. Possible answer C. Letter A. So, letter B naman, 30 plus 66. Ayan po, 30 plus 66, 96 pa rin. Check pa rin po si letter B. So, therefore, possible answer din po si letter B. Sa so letter C naman, 44 plus 52, again, 96 pa rin. Check pa rin po si 96. Possible answer pa rin po si letter C. And then si letter D naman po, 32 plus 64, that is still 96. Check pa rin po, possible answer pa rin si letter D. So using that the, the sum is 96, wala po tayong na-eliminate sa choices. Next natin i-gamitin naman is yung sinabi niyang one number is twice. Ayan. One number is twice the other number. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, 68 divided by 28. If ever 2 ang sagot, so 68 divided by 28 and therefore letter A ang correct answer. Now, take note that 68 divided by 28 is not equal to 2. Kasi if you multiply 2 natin sa 28, that is 56. So, therefore 68 divided by 28 is more than 2. So, kaya nilagay ko po dito, 68 divided by 28 is not equal to 2. So, therefore, hindi po sagot si letter A. Eliminate na po natin si letter A. Kasi, hindi nga niya na-satisfy itong twice na word. Okay? Yung twice na, na word. Next is, 66 divided by 30. 66 divided by 30. And alam po natin na hindi talaga equals to 2. Kasi nga, 30 times 2 equals to 60. And then, sabi sa problem, one number is twice the other number. So, therefore, eliminate na rin natin si letter B. Hindi rin possible answer si letter B. Ganon din yung gawin natin sa letter C. 52 divided by 44, hindi po aabot sa 2. So, therefore, 52 divided by 44 is not equal to 2. And hindi rin niya na-satisfy ang one number is twice the other number. So, eliminate na rin natin si Letter C. Eh, syempre, pag naka-eliminate na tayo ng tatlo class, then therefore, sure na tayo na correct answer C, letter D. But in order for us to, 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 to check if ever tama po, let's try 64 divided by 32 and that is 2 po yung answer. So, which is nagsatisfy po doon sa tinatanong sa problem. Okay? So, therefore, the correct answer here is letter D. Okay, letter D po yung correct answer. So, in this process, in this problem, pinakita ko po sa inyo paano mag-solve na hindi gumagamit ng equation. Ito class, not all the time, kailangan natin gumamit ng equation. So, let's try also na mag-reverse method tayo para naman mapadali yung pag-solve natin. Mapadali in a way na shortest possible time po yung approach natin. Okay? Two numbers are the ratio are in the ratio 5 is to 7. Their difference is 10. What are the numbers? Now class D to class, pwede tayong mag-reverse. Ito, uh, I'll ipakita ko sa inyo ang reverse process and then the the uh what ano tawag nito, using equation. Sabi niya 5 is to 7 ang ratio. If tignan natin letter A Sure tayo na 5 is to 7 because if we divide 10 dito maging 5, divide 10 dito maging 7. So therefore, satisfy niya 5 is to 7. Possible answer si A. Si letter B, 5 is to 7 dito class kasi pag i-divide natin ng 5 si 25, that is 5. Divide natin by 5 si 35, that is 7. 
Ito, I think this is 5 is to 7 rin. Divide mo ito by 6, 5. Divide mo ito by 6, 42. And then, ito naman, divide mo ng, ng 7, 5, ang result. Then, 49 divided by 7, that is 7. So, lahat sila, A, B, C, and D, nagsatisfy sa ratio na 5 is to 7. Sa next naman, their difference is 10. So, 70 minus 50, hindi po 10 yung difference nila. So, eliminate na natin si letter A. And then, si letter B naman, 25, 35, ayun, the difference is 10. So, therefore, for me, the correct answer here in this problem is letter B. Kasi nga, 35 minus 25, 10. And then, 25 divided by 5 equals to 5. 35 divided by 5 equals to 7. So, si letter B, nagsatisfy siya na ang ratio ng dalawang numbers, 5 is to 7, ay nagsatisfy din siya na ang difference, 35 minus 25, that is 10. Kasi si letter C, hindi po 10 yung difference, 42 minus 30, that is 12, and 49 minus 35, that is 14. So, although si letter C and si letter D, nagsatisfy na 5 is to 7. Now, let, alam na natin na letter B yung correct answer. Now, Ang next natin i-try is using equation. So, let's try to solve using equation. And yung 5 is to 7, ang common, let's say, common number nila or common ratio nila is x. So, therefore, the two numbers are 5x and 7x. So, ang two numbers dito sa problem ay 5x and 7x. So, kung 5x and 7x is ang sabi sa problem, yung difference nila is 10, then therefore, 7x minus 5x equals to 10. Then, 7x minus 5x, so ito siya, 7x minus 5x, that is 2x. And then, divide natin, ang two by, uh, divide natin by 2 ay yung both sides ng equation natin. Kaya, we have x equals to 10 divided by 2, then x equals to 5. So, therefore, para makuha natin yung two numbers, 5x equals to 25, kasi since x natin is 5, 5 times 5 is 25. And then 7x equals to 35, since yung x is 5, then therefore 5 times 7, that is 35. So the two numbers are 25 and 35, that is letter, letter B. So ayun, nagmatch po yung correct answer natin using the reverse method and the solution natin using the, the equation. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko or clear po yung pagkaka-explain ko. And if hindi naman po, just message lang ni message niyo lang po ako sa Facebook. Okay? So thank you for watching and please please guys, do not forget to click subscribe and also please do not forget to share to others para naman para naman po makatulong po tayo sa sa iba naman po. Okay? So again, importante pong mag-subscribe para naman kung may meron tayong yung new videos na ma-upload, ma-notify po kayo ni YouTube na meron po akong na-upload na bagong mga lecture videos. Okay? So again, thank you for watching and do, uh, and and uh, do not forget again, ulitin ko na i-share sa iba para naman makatulong po tayo. My next topic is word problem part 2. Okay? So enjoy and have a nice Dave.